Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you how to burn an image file. Uh, for those who are not familiar with image files, uh, this is one example of an image file. Uh, I think most of them ends with .iso and um, this one is about 10 megabytes so it would burn on a CD. Uh, for those who have a larger image, you, sh you can burn it on a DVD. And this software that I have called Neural Burn, this is actually an older version. You have a newer version, but essentially they all work the same. If you have uh, Windows 7, there's a built-in uh, uh, software. I think it came with Windows 7. Uh, this is, I'm using XP, so I don't have it here. So I'm using I'm using Neural Burn. Essentially, they all work the same. It's just uh, navigating through it and finding the correct uh, tool to do it. But today, I'm going to demonstrate this on Neural Burn. And um, I'm doing this video so that it will be easier for future videos that I'm doing. Uh, instead of mentioning this uh, over and over, I can probably refer you to this video later on. So the way you would do it is, since I'm burning something less than uh, 650 or 700, which is the capacity of most CDs, I can go to the CD and then I will select, you can select through all this to burn a lot of things, your data, which is to back up your data, and so on. But I'm not going to go through this in this video, but for this demonstration, I will go here and select the burn uh, image to this. And once you get it, this will start, and I have mine stored on the desktop. So I'm going to select that. And for this one, I'm going to burn D-band, um, which is uh, software that will wipe up your hard drive clean and there's going to be uh, another video on this to show you how to wipe out your hard drive so I have this here and as you can see you don't see any um, files here in that folder but there, there is a file there but this one is showing all narrow compliant and image um, uh, files but you can select this and go all files so this way if you don't see it make sure you select all files and you know that it's the image is there so there you go I can select this now and go open and then at this point here they will ask you to point to your burner so this one is a CD burner that I have here I also have a DVD burner uh, actually yes this is a DVD burner as well so uh, all I really care about is the CD at this point. So it's correct where the destination goes. And as long as everything here is correct, um, you can select how many copies you want to burn. Use, I, I'm just going to burn one. Uh, you just need to c uh, click next. And the, the image should start burning. But since I don't have a CD inside the um, CD-ROM right now, um, it's going to give me an error pretty soon. Uh, I already have that CD burn, so I'm not going to waste a CD here. So, yeah, so as long as you do that, it should start working. Um, after that, you just load your CD and test it out yourself. Uh, and in a minute now, I think it should give me an error. So, it's still searching for that CD, which I don't have in there. There you go. So it says it's not there or empty because uh, I didn't want to burn it, waste a CD. So there you go, guys. Hopefully this helps you out. And um, when I refer to burning uh, images later in the future videos, you can refer back to this.